Uh, hi, I'm Brogan O'Brien and I've worked for Arriva London now for one year. My previous employment was the British Army where I undertook an apprenticeship in engineering and was a vehicle mechanic uh, working on tanks for 11 years and came here to start my second career. My name is Diane Bromfield. I started uh, on the buses in 1990. Um, I was a driver until 2004 where I then joined the training department as a driving instructor. My name's Sandra Rowe. I've been working for the company for 21 years, started in 1994 as a bus conductor. I now work in admin. I've been in admin for 15 years, worked in personnel, recruitment and now in training. Yes, yeah, so I decided to uh, leave the army as a lot of it's changing at the moment and uh, I thought I'd go into the railways as a career. Never even thought about the buses, it was suggested uh, to me and I thought I'd give it a go and I'm still here now, a year later, enjoying it. In the 25 years that I've been in this industry, I've seen a lot of changes with the amount of uh, female staff that have been working in this industry. When I started, it was mostly conductors who were women and then slowly over the years, um, women became drivers. Obviously now there are a lot more women drivers. Um, so yes, in those 25 years, I've seen quite a lot of changes. When I started 21 years ago, there was hardly any females within the industry. We've now gone on through the years and there's various, there's more females within the industry doing various roles, i.e. such as engineering manager, training man manager, bus driving, personnel. No two days the same when you're working for a revive. You, you know, you're not going to come in and have the same job every single day. It's just very fast paced. It, it's very, you've got to stay on your toes. You're going to be thinking and I definitely recommend it. There's always been opportunities for progression within the company. Um, I myself became a driving instructor but there's other roles that people can play like uh, general managers, engineering manager, performance managers even controllers, so there's been lots of avenues for progression within Arriva London. I've been here for 21 years, I started as a bus conductor, didn't think I would be here longer, as long as I have been now and I've moved on into the admin um, department and I've, along the way I've seen loads of people change their jobs and there are loads of jobs opportunities and career positions available within the Reva. I mean, coming from the army where you're so outnumbered as being a woman, you know, any sort of regiment, you're probably talking about 200 men to every woman that was there serving. Um, so it was always a minority by a massive amount. And coming into the bus industry, I actually thought there'd be a lot more. I mean, I can only really, I know there's loads of uh, women bus drivers, but for engineering, um, Specifically, I thought there'd be a lot much more. I started off my career in Arriva as a fitter on the shop floor. After roughly about two to three months, um, my manager Peter Hughes recommended me to go for an assessment day to be the, um, an assistant engineering manager at one of the depots, to which I did and I was successful and given the post uh, at Edmonton Garage. I've only ever worked for Arriva London and that is mainly because um, it's a good company and they encourage people from all backgrounds to, to progress. Uh, women can progress. Um, I was more than encouraged to become a driving instructor, so yes, I would definitely encourage people to work for Arriva. I would recommend women to come and work for Arriva. It's a good company to work for. I mean, there's lots of opportunities for um, you know, engineers, uh, bus drivers, controllers, etc. To, to move up and be promoted within the industry. Um, there's just, you just, you know, you've just got to show that you want it and, and I think the doors are always open and if you're the right person then you should get picked.